Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, it's bigger on here again. Uh, want to give you a quick uh, update on this video, what it's about. It's on my uh, LT1 Trans Am on Green Thing. Well, I'm just about ready to get the car going, doing the final testing, having vibration issues. Okay, to keep this kind of video a little shorter on the short end, I um was battling this vibration, vibration, vibration. So I'm there, like probably everybody else, messing with the uh, pinion angle with this torque arm and all that good stuff. And you know, brand new drive shaft. Um, everything is new on here, other than the rear end. Yes, it is a stock rear end for right now, but it's not gonna be like this. It's just kind of just to get this car rolling. Anyways, so getting vibration and actually pretty nasty vibration under, you know, <clears throat> uh, maybe 60, 70 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour, it was pushing it. So I looked up online and started doing uh, some hose clamp deals and, uh, you know, trying, experimenting some, some of that stuff. This car is running a T56 Magnum, so it's all custom. I do have it shimmed already. And to be honest with you, I do need to shim the transmission tail housing even further up higher into the tunnel but the tunnel is already pushing its limits to where it's actually hidden right up in there so anyways the next uh, the new chassis that I'm fixing to put together I'm gonna do all that so this car is just kinda like a, a semi mock-up for all this stuff that I got going on um, and then I'll, I'll soon pull all this out and then put it in my real chassis anyways the vibration I was certain it was the uh, dry shaft because when I would mess with it I put a hose clamp on it and it actually reduced the vibration by quite a bit okay so put the hose clamp on ran it now I could get the car up to about 120 or so and then it would vibrate really nasty and really violently Without the hose clamp, it would probably run maybe 50, 60, 65, and it would start vibrating pretty nasty and pretty bad. Okay, called Denny's, told him, hey, I want I want you guys to check the uh, uh, the drive shaft for me. I think I screwed it up during mock-up because I did, I'll, I'll mention, I did uh, mar it up a little. I did scrape it under mock-up of over the, the past, getting it on and off with all the new setup and all that good stuff so called them up emailed them they uh, immediately responded to me and told me hey uh, we're gonna give you guys we're gonna give you a call and he did the man is very straightforward very professional and uh, very genuine he told me he feels like the drive shaft wasn't the problem his drive shaft wasn't the problem um, we talked on the phone for about 50 minutes Got, he went over in detail of a lot of variations, a lot of uh, explaining to me of uh, stuff that I knew and stuff that was actually new to me that uh, he brought to my attention. Right before I got off the phone, he told me to check the end caps. If I had the dry shaft off, I told him yes, to check the end caps. If the end caps had a plastic thrust washer on the inside and that I didn't double stack or if they were missing on either one of the caps there was grease in there and on the phone I told him well it kind of one of them kind of looks different honestly well after I got off the phone I cleaned the cap up cleaned the grease up lo and behold I found one of them was missing the plastic uh, uh, thrust washer shim one of them had it one of them didn't well when I tested the dry shaft on here, I noticed when I'd move the dry shaft up and down, it had a lot of end play, quite a bit. And I was actually surprised and kind of skeptical at the same time thinking, surely that can't be my problem. Well, anyways, I put a temporary washer that was about the same size as that thrust washer I went ahead and tested it. I've got the car up, obviously, and um, vibration seems to have diminished greatly, greatly, dramatically. 
and that end play is gone. I emailed him, and he, he and he's going to send me the two thrust washers, and uh, as soon as possible. And he said that'll further uh, align the U joints even more, so probably going to reduce vibration even that much more. Wow, I have been going through a lot, a lot of trouble trying to troubleshoot this problem. Let me, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I'm gonna get my exhaust back on here because right now it's open headers because I can't put the exhaust on with the dry shaft. I'm gonna pull the U joint and the cap off and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about for anybody else that might be stuck. So let me get it off and I'll, and I'll get back with you. I got the caps off real quick. And uh, these are the uh, Spicer end caps. This is, a, this is what I'm talking about right here. This one has the uh, original uh, thrust washer that it should have. This little guy right here is what the problem was. And here's my temporary... Uh, washer that I have hold on it's kind of hard to do it one hand this is my uh, temporary washer that I found laying around in my shop and I put that one in it's almost the same size almost the same thickness uh, but this is just a test this right here is what the problem was this little guy right there because that not being in there cause the uh, u-joints not to be centered up and have end play thus uh, causing vibration so I've got two of these coming on the way to heat uh, Denny's is sending me and I will try it with those on and then see if I can't uh, try it again and then just go from there all right well I hope if anybody else has these problems that they double, triple, quadruple check all this kind of stuff. It happens to the best of us. And uh, never did I think something so simple would be such a major problem like it is to me. All right, well, this video helped you out. And uh, got anything good out of it, like and su uh, share and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. All right, God bless you.